Luke is uh, joining us tonight to cover for Tara here. Um, he does rocked on the YouTubes and the Twitches and a bunch of other stuff. There'll be links yes. in this week's show. Thank yes. you so much for hopping in tonight. Appreciate it. Absolutely. Hopefully you are hanging in there along with everyone else, which is the title of this past week in general for life. Jesus Christ. Yeah, I know. It's been, man, it's, it's just, I, uh, yeah. I agree. I mean, you said it best yourself just then. So, nine, just, just nine. too much, man. I, There's no breaks. I think that's the no best break. way. Yeah, that's There's no breaks. None. It's just like oh. one f- nine. thing after the f- nine. another. I ain't got time for this. Sh- la la. I agree. There we go. Is there a chance that the news was better and kinder and calmer? No. Oh. I I really do not ask much in life. I really don't. So how how is you you guys are making wedding plans? I saw on 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 the tw- the, the the Twitter. Mhm. We are having our engagement photos next week. Your your what? So engagement photos for like to set or um invitation photos to send out the in- invitations. We need to have our photos taken to send out invitations for people to come to our wedding. It's a thing. If they're coming to your wedding, I should hope they know what the f- night you look like. Yes, I agree with that. And I, for one, belong behind a camera. I've made a profession out of all one of the things I do as a photographer. Having my picture taken is weird and yes. it is very unnatural, but I'm going to do it. And we're going to have our photos taken and we're going to send them all to the people we're inviting. I told you already beforehand to remember the date just to keep it that way. Yeah. And a bunch of other people. But at the same time, this is a thing, and I understand it. It's the process, so I will gladly do it and send these invitations off with my heavily photoshopped and preferably changed out face. Okay, but am I allowed to say that's that's really I'm stupid? Am I allowed to say that? You're fine. I don't care. (laughs) Doesn't bother (laughs) me any. So I can't get in trouble. I can't can't get in trouble. The only no, way you would get in trouble is if you saw a picture of us with one of her animals, like Ivan the dog, and said that picture's stupid. Then you no. would be in such severe trouble. I'd be like, "Can we? J- we just have the puppy." I, w- I would be happy. Exactly. With just- you know what? And you would know better. Send out the wedding better. invitations with pictures of the puppy on it. That's all you need. There you go. You know that would probably get more gifts that than it, my yes, just send it out really the- would. For everybody. H week, Catherine. Radio Dead Air audience, go out on the worldwide webs, interwebs, find all sorts of horrible stuff. Bring back here for a little something we like to call What the Fuck is Wrong with You? Come on, hit the shot right there. We go. And the shot, how, how is the shot wrong? What's the freaking thing? You looked at it funny. I do that with my computer, it just changes on its own. Oh, I'm so grumbly tonight. All right, let's get into the news. And uh, well, okay, I. I tend to think of criminals as, you know, they they, are, they have focused on a crime, the mm-hmm. point of which to, to commit the crime, right? And that, that is to Correct. profit. You, you, you do the thing, you get away, you make money, somehow, I guess. Um, this, That's this, how they see it, yeah. Yes. Well, we got video. Um, this one is, uh, you know what? All right. Uh, let me put this over on the stream so you can, I'm going to see if you can decide to know what's going on. If you, if you figure out what's going on here in the video. Okay. Uh, I'll take a second to catch up. Uh, Sure. I'll let me know what's up. All right. There you go. Let's, let's see if you can figure out what happened here. Okay. I'm going to make it big on my other monitor too. Okay. Wait a second. But before he made off with his loot. It's gonna be a... Okay. This video of the so, so... As soon as it pops up, almost okay. So, a man's mowing his lawn at night. Yeah. It's, what, what, what do you it's think it's clearly the night. Here? What do you think the crime here is? Is he gonna try to break in entering and like he's trying to fake it, like pretending he's built like that's not his house? No. They're zooming in on a fence. Okay. I see him really going to town mowing that lawn. Um, yeah. You know, you, you know looks why? Like, looks like he got his hair cut uh, with the lawnmower. Okay. Uh, I can't talk. So he's still going around the ground. What I 
Yeah. You, you can't figure it out. Yeah, you know, you know why? He he, why? he stole the fucking lawn, but first he cut the lawn. Oh. Uh, he stole the. <laughs> I don't. What this? He couldn't wait to get it home. He couldn't wait to try it out. He couldn't lay low. He had to pop it on that night. Had to. The point of crime is to not do work. Yeah. I thought. Yeah. If you're doing crime, you shouldn't be like, ha, oh, props for, I guess, being polite about stealing their shit. Yeah. Man in Texas. But <laughs> man in Texas accused of stealing a lawnmower, made sure he cut the homeowner's grass before he left. What? Port Arthur Police Department post security okay. video. Were they home? Were, were, were the people home? No, no. Okay, good. Uh, uh, that that would have been too much for me and my brain to handle at this point. Um, but still, police say he dragged the lawnmower as he ran and ultimately left it in an alley to evade an arrest. Officers are looking for a man on outstanding warrant for burglary of a building. Why would just go? You've got the lawnmower. He really wanted the lawnmower at that point after being chased too. No, it's mine. I found it. <laughs> oh, I mean, if, if you've got the thing you're trying to steal, yeah, go leave. You already he, have it. He probably would. That's the that is the hardest part, by the way. Get, obtaining the stolen item at first. Right. You you've done it. You've win. You've won. Get the fuck out. Don't. But then he stayed to mow the like. Was it like to rub it in? like one last time. This I is the last no, time your lawn's gonna look this good. I <laughs> do not understand what the fuck happened here. <laughs> the, was he trying to look inconspicuous to the neighbors who knew that wasn't the person that lived in their house? Because that's not going to work either. It might have been the idea. I guess that's the only thing that makes anything <laughs> resembling sense. He was yeah. trying to be cunning. Yeah. Yes. He thought that was his dastardly move to blend in to the surroundings that weren't his own. Also, Nash, how many people in your neighborhood cut their lawn at night? None. Ever. Yeah. Ever. Ever. Which it seems doesn't happen. We which seems weird to me because wouldn't that be the time when you're not getting like blistered by the fucking sun? Sun. Oh yeah, you think that people wake up early to do it? I get that. I don't like waking up early, but I get that. But yeah, no one does it at night. So this guy thinks, well, this they won't expect me. They'll just think this is me cutting their lawn, you know. I just come on. I and then taking it home with me. <laughs> <sighs> this next one is exactly stupid news. This is just like, holy shit. I had to cover this because this was just. Mm. Wait, okay. When you see this picture, Luke, you're going to, you're going to understand why, because. Am I going to laugh or am I going to be upset? Cause. No, you're, I th you're going to here. Just react. Okay. There you go. Oh, lightning blows up toilet after traveling through apartment buildings, exhaust vent. How has this not been memed yet? As if we didn't feel vulnerable enough in the bathroom, a recent incident in Oklahoma is shedding some light on yet another nightmarish possibility. Fighter fighters with the uh, Okmulgee, I think I'm saying that right, fire department was were called to the scene of an incident at an apartment uh, building on Wednesday night after a bolt of lightning traveled through the exhaust vent and shattered a toilet in one of the units. I, I love any story I, I can use the term shattered a toilet because that's that's amazing. No one was injured, just, but the toilet was severely damaged. Apartment building. So this was someone's like actual home. Yeah. Oh, I, I, I get. OK, we always like to talk about the probability. People say you're more likely to do this, blah, 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 than be struck by lightning. Mm -hmm. How? What's this then? Mm -hmm. That's way worse because. I'm just more thinking also went through the vents and it could not have been a straight shot down to the toilet from See, the that's sky. A, that's electricity. It's, it's, it's not about direction. It's about, yeah, it's, it's, it was, it had to, it, it was the close enough to hit the water. That's what it was going yeah. for. Huh? It's wild, isn't it? Look, just the pictures are, are a fucking trip. Yeah. So it's uh, it, picture it. It's like it's ten o'clock at night. You're sitting down. You're watching the 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 YouTubes. You're you're having a beer, and all of a sudden, from the bathroom, 
not just an explosion, that's ceramics and stuff. That is a huge bang. That is, well, that's a fucking lightning has hit your fucking bathroom. <sighs> Who's blowing up the toilet in there? And Someone's like, thinking the same jokes, too. We're all thinking the same jokes. We all have them in our head. I'm ready to lighten a match, but this is ridiculous. Um, oh, man. They did bring back the quarter pounder, I see. You know, <laughs> just, just that's I'm gl- again glad no one was hurt. Um, I mean, I, OK, when I was a kid, <laughs> I swear my mom told me you can't take a shower while the thunder while it's a thunderstorm. And I always thought that was bullshit. Yeah, but it turns out, no, you really shouldn't do that shit. You shouldn't go to the bathroom either while there's a thunderstorm. You I'm just more hold afraid it. of that now at this point. Yeah. You just hold, oh, I hold it. Yeah, I mean, Lesser Godzilla says, it's as though God cast judgment on the toilet. Fuck that toilet in particular. <laughs> this is... Man, oh man. You gotta, you, you gotta talk to an insurance agent and they gotta look at you when you explain yeah. this shit. And you'd be like, no, no, <laughs> you could call the damn fire department. They yeah. know. Bring like in your forensics team. I dare you. Let them break this down for me. <laughs> oh, I, I wouldn't even know what this. I mean, the landlord, easy enough to move all that out and replace it, hopefully. But still, I, <sighs> that, is, that is just I it's not it's just it's fucked. I mean, like, yeah. Oh, yeah. I'm just trying to think, like, if you would have stuffed an explosive down the toilet and flushed it into the pipes, I don't know if it would have done as much damage as that. Yeah. I'd just be amazing you weren't, no one was taking a poop at the time. I, I, I know, that's what I was thinking too. Or even in the bathroom, just the shrapnel. Oh. It's not even just shrapnel, it's ceramic poo shrapnel <laughs> from a dirty toilet. Kaboom. That's what you get hit by? Ugh. All right, uh, <sighs> next, next one's from North Carolina. And uh, I, if, if this was high school, I could maybe, maybe see it. Oh, I just want to clarify a- for people who are not in the United States. We talk about middle school here. Um, that is uh, from sixth, seventh, and eighth grade. That is from age eleven to twelve to thirteen to fourteen. Okay, something like that. Yeah. So it's it's early teenager is what it is. I want you to picture that when we're talking about a middle school. Okay, and we're talking about a teacher. Who asked one of his students to move his truck at a middle school? Catawba County, North Carolina, athletic director and teacher's assistant at a North Carolina middle school lost his job after a student he allowed to move his truck crashed into three school buses. <laughs> Lots of thoughts in my head. Do you watch Bob's Bob's Burgers? Sometimes, yes. The older episode where Tina first learns how to drive and he like hands her the keys. Literally in an empty parking lot, there's only one other car. She drives a good at uh, just idle pace, just idling or just running like without and like literally a 60 seconds to turn. She does and hits the truck and the car (laughs) again, though. She was like 14. Why would you do this? Uh, why is he left the athletic director trying to be cool? Is that what it was? He was trying to be cool with the kids. Jason Oxentine, who worked at Riverbend Middle School in Claremont, asked a student on April 29th to drive the educator's truck to the back of the school. Um, the student lost control of the c- truck and struck three parked <laughs> school buses. And the, the picture is amazing. Oh, how fast? Why was he going that fast in the first place? <sighs> District officials said the damages of the buses cost approximately seven thousand to repair. Yeah. Officials added there were two employees on the bus when the student crashed the vehicle. Ooh. Ox- <laughs> Oxentine was cited with a traffic citation for giving his keys to a minor. Yeah, he was fired from uh, Catawba County Schools on Monday. It just in high school, if the kids got a driver's license or even a learner's permit or something, I'd be like, okay, you can move my truck. Yeah. No, if you're a senior school. in high school, not one care. Not when you're 14 to 12. Yeah, no, not fucking, not fucking. I mean, I've, I, <laughs> no. When I feel, little, par- I, there are grown adults I would feel paranoid or uncomfortable handing my keys to. 
Billy, who's trying to be cool with the athletic director, thinks he can move your truck? So now he has no wheels and no job. Okay. Hope it was worth it. Uh, that that truck is totaled. You can see. So, obviously, that truck is fucked. I wonder if the kid did it on purpose is the fun thing. I'm wondering if he was trying to speed around a little bit to goof off. Because there's, to pick up speed to do that kind of damage on a truck... And he hit three buses? Maybe he just that... really didn't like gym class. <laughs> Give me an F on the gym, will ya? Oh. Because I hated, I oh. hated, I hated gym class. I hated running. Always have. That is the, I didn't want to run the mile. Gym yeah. class is one of the weirdest things. Yeah. About school in general. Yeah. But even so, I never hated a teacher enough to ram their car or truck into several other school buses on well, I've the, hated many teachers exactly. I've never that hated much. one that much not in junior see, high or high here's school. The thing, so if you're in the oh eleven to fourteen age bracket mm-hmm. and something like this happens, ain't nobody in the it's you are completely no fault. You are blameless. It's you, true. Are, you are walking away from this friend. Like, what are you going to do? What are your parents going to do? Ground your ass for a little bit? Oh, no. Yeah. You got true. the fucker fired. Good job. Aw, shucks is all the thing. All you have to say to the judge <laughs> and you're set. Also, does that make this kid at that school a loser or a hero now? He might be like, a is he being made villain. fun of it? Yeah. Or is he like, is he being made fun of? Is everyone afraid of him? Do they think it's hilarious? Because everybody knows now. That's not a secret you can keep from the rest of the school. I lived in one town from elementary school to high school. And uh-huh. the thing about doing that is anything that happens to you within those years is eternal. You yeah. never leave that behind. So this oh, yeah. kid's going to be at graduation. And yes, they're going to be talking absolutely. about the time. He fucked up all the, the goddamn school buses. Yep. Yep. About it, even from other teachers that he had never met at the time. Yeah. Like in high school, when it goes, they'll know about him. They'll be warned. Yeah. Th- this and is- that's also like, yeah. I mean, I remember throwing up really bad at school in fifth grade without getting too graphic. It was bad. And the bad part about it was the another fifth grade class was walking back from music class and they, they had to walk around and they saw the whole thing. <laughs> so I had an audience. Did I live that down through a high school? No, I was 11 and heard about it till I was 17. So. Well, next up, this is. This used to be an unusual thing, OK? Like in in all the years I've been doing this, the two goddamn decades, this rarely have ever happened. And then in the past yeah. few years, this shit just sort of accelerated. I could before, I mean, like early last decade, I could count on one hand the time I'd ever heard of this happening. And now, every other fucking week, someone oh, is opening I, I the did door. See this. Oh. On the gut, we had one last week oh, yeah. for a woman. I, I, I am a firm believer as a frequent flyer. Every single passenger on that plane gets to slap that guy right in the face, right in the face, because you messed up everyone's whole yeah. day. A man was taken to custody after opening a plane's emergency exit and walking onto Whoa. the wing of the air of a moving <gasps> aircraft at O'Hare International. I, I didn't know it was moving. Why would you do that? Well, I got, I got to get, I got to get a carry on for, I got to get the luggage for everybody else. Uh, I'm, I'm one up in my teen wolf ride. He rode a van. I'm riding a plane wing. Oh, it's it happened around 4 30 AM Thursday in the dark while oh. the United airplanes play was approaching the airport's gate. Man on board the plane, pulled the emergency exit, walk out on the wind, the plane, then slid down onto the airfield. Rank Frandy, uh, uh, Rank Frank, Randy Frank Devilla. I can't talk tonight. I like that. I like Rank Frandy myself, but I'm more shocked at the age. How 57 old? How old years old. Five, seven. Of California really? has been charged with one misdemeanor count of reckless conduct after he leapt over several people to open an emergency exit on a moving plane. Oh, he only got one misdemeanor for all that? I, oh, that's a. That's supposed, isn't that supposed to be a fucking felony? 
Yes, and also those um, emergency doors, they don't just swing open all nice no. and easy no. like the actual door you get into. There's a lot of criteria and stuff they have to break down now. That plane has to be grounded for a while to make sure all the checks are gone. That guy ruined a lot of people's day. Yeah. A lot. Yeah, because they have to run around the freaking tarmac to catch his dumb ass. And while they're doing yes. that, the plane stops. They're not going yeah. to the gate. It's Slam four, on the brakes. Yeah, you have to. And you have to. It's 4.30 in the morning. You have been flying all fucking night. If it's 4.30 in the goddamn you and you want to go to yeah, bed. Red eye. That's what's not some little, happening. Yeah. And was that some little podunk airport where there's only like one runway? No, what airport was it? O'Hare. Ugh. <sighs> Why? I don't understand. <laughs> I Hopped, and it wasn't just like a, a for a laugh. He wasn't even sitting in the exit row. He hopped over people. <laughs> oh, what Arcos, was the end game? Arcos, there's a dumbass on the wing of the plane. Yeah, there is. <laughs> retro, that's not how being a wingman works. No, that's, that's not. Oh. That's not. I feel bad for everyone on that flight. But I feel bad for the pilot, the flight attendants, everybody. Ugh. All right, let's see. Um, well, this one kind of amazes me, too. This uh, We got from one idiot on planes to an idiot on trains. I don't understand. I, I, no one can make this make sense. I, I keep wanting people to make this make sense. This will never make sense. I know. Canadian caught trying to enter U.S. on top of Windsor, Detroit freight train. I know a lot of people want to get out of Detroit. I get it. Guys, there's got to be a better way. No, 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 no. He was trying to get into Detroit. No one tries to get into Detroit that badly. That just breaks time and logic at that point. Come on now. U.S. Border Patrol <laughs> agents said they foiled an attempt by a Canadian man to sneak into the U.S. using cross-border freight trains. Agents from Detroit Station saw an individual riding an inbound freight train. So they're sitting there at the station. They're looking over at the border. And they're like, Harry? Yeah, Frank. Harry, is there a dude on the top of that, that train? Yeah, Frank. Huh. Call it in. <laughs> also, those freight trains, there's maybe one or two people working those trains because they're freight. You only right. need the conductor and maybe someone in the very back, too. So if there's a third person on top, it's real obvious. Yeah. And not only that, real it's, obvious. it's real dangerous. Can you imagine? Going through one of those tunnels and you're just it's inches above your head. You're going Mission Impossible seconds. style, yeah. You have to have the the just understand if you move the wrong way, something is coming off of you. Yeah. And, and you're never seeing it again. So I hope you don't have any favorites. Was he riding on top or between the two cars? Because this looks like he was riding on top, yeah. and if that's the case, he's even dumber. Yeah, it was on top. Uh, uh, you could have just... They're separate cars. You could see each separation that you could climb down to then, and then you don't have 40-mile-per-hour winds hitting you in the face. At the station, oh, it, I, I, uh, at the station it was determined the man was subject to an active criminal bench warrant from London, Ontario, for possession of a weapon dangerous to the public. So th he's trying... He's trying to escape Canada into America to beat a weapons charge. What, did he think we'd be sympathetic? No. Again, this is the most bizarro circumstance either. Trying to escape Canada to get to Detroit to uh, get out of his weapon charge in Canada. I tell you, if I, even if I would killed someone, I still, if it's, I would be like, all right, you could escape into America and maybe beat the rap, or you got to spend life in prison in Canada. I'd be, I would have to think. I yeah, would, have I would to, too. I would have to be like, huh? Give me a minute. Yeah. Man, oh man. Because even even the pri you're like, I wonder if the prison is that polite. That would be nice. It's probably not, but even still. Well, 
Yeah. I, well, compare it to the American prison, though. Yeah. Uh, depends on the prison, I guess. Yeah. I just love it's extremely dangerous to enter the United States illegally. Yeah, especially if you do it that way. Man, what if, get off the fucking train. Yeah. <laughs> OK, well, 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 Luke, since it was you, I saved this one for last. <laughs> Why do you say that, Nash? I don't like the smile on your face. You're enjoying something awful too much, and I don't know what it is. New Jersey oh. woman who allegedly spat at cop, drove motorized luggage in airport chase, rearrested. A New Jersey woman who investigators say led police on a chase through an Orlando International Airport while riding a motorized suitcase <laughs> is headed back to Florida. <laughs> The U.S. Marshals, New York, New Jersey Regional Fugitive Task Force arrested Chelsea Alston this uh, afternoon at a catering business in Irvington. Florida prosecutors say Alston was a no-show at the court after the bizarre incident in April 2021 in which she was barred from getting on a New York-bound flight from Orlando. Investigators say the ordeal started when Alston threw a fit when airline employees told her she was too drunk to fly. Stop. Do you realize how absolutely wasted you have to be to be deemed too drunk to fly? Uh, that, no matter, that is nautical amounts of alcohol in your system. You're too drunk to fly. Sir, uh, you, you, you're kneeling down you, right now and your you're, luggage is open and you th almost like you're throw up. You cannot fly right now. You're too fly to drunk. Sir, sir, look at me. I'm the one talking. You can't even get your words out without messing up the sentence. I Please go sit down. I am pretty fly for a white guy. Okay, sir, that song's been out for over 20 years, and that's not funny. Please, sir. Oh. But he, here's the cherry on top just for you. Just for you. No, According no. to an arrest report, Alston spit at a police officer multiple times as the officer was trying to move her from the terminal. She was later put into the patrol car where she damaged the seat and defecated inside. Promise you'd never do this again, Nash. Well, I did. Promise I me. did not. You I promise. promise shit. I am not your poo correspondent. <laughs> oh, you had a toilet story. You have this. Oh, just. I mean, <sighs> That's I have never been that drunk. I have never in my I, I life. Know. I've of all the times I've flown, I've seen some drunk people both in the air terminals and on the flights, never to that level. What <sighs> and also I sort of put on a side note. Does the crazy start even at the airports in Florida? Absolutely. <laughs> I love that she was riding on a motorized suitcase. <laughs> That you thing goes just, one mile per hour at best. You can you, push her over. You Ugh. could hear the Betty Hill theme. There weren't any <laughs> speakers. It just came that, from the ether. At that point, the cop could just kind of like walk behind her with the body cams like, oh, I'm recording this. You just keep going. I think it's funny. You keep doing it. Keep racking it up, lady. Ugh. I, it's, I, it's, I, I, I have never been poop myself drunk in my life. I have been fucked up. You've never spat in a fa cop's face drunk. You've never tried to get kicked off, banned from a plane drunk, um, right away on a motorized scooter at an airport drunk, and <laughs> the then poop in the back of a car drunk. <laughs> the motor motorized scooter is what's killing me here. Because that's one of those. Th have you seen those? Yes, they're the they're stupidest thing. They're ridiculous. That is such a waste of lots of money too. those things are not cheap. Suitcases like, aren't cheap. It's not even a mobility thing. It really is no. not a mobility thing. No, it's a gimmick. It's just a dumb gimmick. That's it. And uh, like the idea was well, just you look like an idiot. You do. It's like a dumb ride that like if you had a little kid and they wanted to ride that around, I wouldn't even think it was cute. I'd be like, oh, that's weird. Why are you doing that at the airport? That's this is not the place to do that, kid. But I love that not only did she do all this shit, she decided I don't have to show up for court. It's in Florida. I'm in New Jersey. That's a different Man. country. Yep. It's like everyone thinks you can claim like sanctuary once you cross state lines. No, that, that's not and, how that works at all. And then police police officers to have no communication for over state lines. None. You know where that oh. started from? I guarantee it's fucking Dukes of Hazard. 
Oh, well, did, South Florida. So, yeah. did mm-hmm. you ever watch old Dukes of Hazard? The whole idea is I, when I was younger, old stuff. When they're like, "Oh, those Duke like, boys." This yeah, ridiculous idea that if they get to the, the county line or yeah. some shit, they'll be fine. That ain't how that works. Nope, nope. That has never been how that works. That's not. Uh, that's not even video game logic. So it's like, oh, if I make it to the next level, I can save my game and then I'll be safe. It's not even that. Ugh. Ugh. Yeah, but Did she get to keep her suitcase and her belongings? You think? I don't think she gets to take that to jail. And also, what, what's what's the poor defense attorney's case going to be? What's she going to have to say? What are they going to have to say for this woman to get her a lesser sentence? Uh, I don't know. I don't know either. Ugh. Like, I guess- and flying, flying sucks. Yeah. And it's people like this that make it way way worse. I guess, yeah, that is the first thing we, <sighs> we learned this way. I mean, th- there's there is such a you gotta know when to say when that was a pretty yeah. good, good ad campaign for a reason because and that has then that had to have been five hard liquors before you man, got to that I tell point you, if you got me when i was a kid watching those you're like you could kill somebody with a car drunk no don't, don't tell me that tell me you could end up in the back of a car cop car pooping yourself i'd be like okay i don't want to do that Whoa. and it's on camera i don't want to be caught doing oh, that, uh-uh. that. no i ain't gonna drink no more um Ugh. We have learned that I don't think th- there there's any problem so dire that you'd want to escape from Canada into the United no, States. No, I can't think of anyone anything either. Even the murder charge, which was not what he was trying to escape, was a weapons charge. It's a weapons charge. <laughs> it's Mickey Mouse <laughs> shit. Um, and, you, and who made him ride the top of the train? Uh, that's not. No one had to make him do that. Uh. We have uh, we learned that um, nothing good comes from opening the fucking emergency exit. It, it, it's not a secret. It's not like there's a thing like a thing something shiny on the wing either. Like what is this like a bucket list fucking thing? I want to do something I never. That's the, that's the randomest bucket list thing for a fifty seven year old. I want to do something I'm not allowed to do. Fuck you! Come on. Ugh. We've learned that. Even if you're trying to rap with the kids and get on their Ugh. level, don't don't hand them the keys nope. to your truck. Nope. I can't feel bad for that guy. Out of job, out of car, that's 100% your fault. Uh-uh. We've learned that sometimes Ugh. lightning hits toilets. I do feel bad for those people, though. That's, man, not, oh even a, that's not even a joke. That's no. just science. I do feel bad for them. No matter who it is, I feel bad for you. Man, oh, man. Cause, but just <laughs> you ever hear the, you ever hear the logic lightning strikes twice he's gonna think that every time they have to poo <laughs> it could happen again it could happen again uh, you're sitting on the toilet you've got like a sheet of aluminum foil over your head or some <laughs> like all this all this rubber like hoping <laughs> it bounces off Ugh. and finally we've learned if you're trying to steal something and you have to secure the thing you need to steal go yeah, run. don't don't try to cover yourself. This is not like fucking, you know, undercover spy shit. You ain't James Bond. Just take the shit and go. It's yeah. a lawnmower. And, if it's, uh, and at that point, if it's dragging you down and you know they're on your trail, just leave it behind at that point it's, and get away. You're getting, you can try again later. You're getting what? Twenty five <sighs> bucks for a fucking little stolen fucking lawnmower or some shit like that. It's a stolen uh, fucking lawnmower. Yeah. Uh. <laughs> We weren't the only ones that had bad weeks. All the people we care about. Some other people had them bad, too. Yeah. Uh, I mean, I, it, it is kind of, I mean, it's, it's, things suck, but I am sitting here going, well, lightning didn't hit my toilet, so I'm... I'm it's, I wasn't on a flight that was derailed by a belligerently drunk woman or an idiotic 57-year-old. Yeah. Little things. Uh. <laughs> you promised not to do the poo stories anymore. <laughs> the fuck I did. 